Scientists just discovered a massive earthquake risk under Canada that could devastate North America. This comes as the 620-mile Tintina Fault threatens highways, pipelines, and entire communities across three countries. University of Victoria researchers found evidence of ancient earthquakes using laser scanning technology. Lead scientist Theron Finley warns, future earthquakes on the Tintina Fault could exceed magnitude 7.5. The fault runs from British Columbia through Yukon into Alaska, directly under the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. Here's what makes this discovery critical right now. Scientists thought this fault was dormant for 40 million years. New evidence shows it ruptured just 12,000 years ago, making it active and dangerous. The fault has accumulated 20 feet of tectonic strain since its last earthquake. That's enough energy to level cities and destroy infrastructure when it releases suddenly. Alaska State seismologist Michael West explains the danger clearly. The fault has been accumulating stress for thousands of years and could produce a catastrophic event impacting infrastructure. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline carries 17% of America's domestic oil production. A major earthquake could sever this critical energy supply instantly. Highways connecting remote communities would collapse. Mining operations worth billions would shut down. Dawson City's 1,600 residents would be cut off completely. But here's the real problem nobody's talking about. Canada has zero earthquake monitoring systems on this fault. No early warning networks, no dedicated seismic instruments, nothing to detect building pressure before it's too late. The researchers used advanced LiDAR technology to find fault scarps hidden under forests. These scarps show the ground shifted up to 1,000 meters during past earthquakes. Finley's team measured displacement on landforms of different ages. 2.6 million-year-old features show 1,000-meter offsets. 132,000-year-old features show 75-meter offsets. But landforms younger than 12,000 years show no displacement at all. This pattern reveals the fault's earthquake cycle. It stays quiet for thousands of years, building pressure, then ruptures violently. The accumulated 6 meters of slip deficit means the fault is late in its cycle. Scientists can't predict if it'll rupture tomorrow or in a thousand years. Canada's National Seismic Hazard Model didn't include this fault as a major threat. Building codes don't account for magnitude 7.5 earthquakes in this region. Emergency planners have no evacuation routes for affected communities. Infrastructure wasn't built to withstand this level of seismic force. The discovery affects Alaska, British Columbia, Yukon, Alberta, and possibly Montana. That's millions of people and billions in infrastructure at risk. Scientists are sharing findings with local governments and emergency managers. They're pushing for immediate updates to building codes and disaster plans. Investment in monitoring equipment is critical. Early warning systems could save lives by providing seconds or minutes of advance notice. The Tintina fault discovery shows how modern technology reveals hidden dangers. Laser scanning and satellite imaging are finding active faults worldwide previously thought dormant. Canada and America must work together on this cross-border threat. Infrastructure reinforcement and emergency coordination can't wait for bureaucratic delays. The clock is ticking on a fault that's been building pressure for 12,000 years.